Hello guys, today I want to show you a quick example of n plus 1 query problem about eloquent performance from one of my latest lessons in the course. So I accidentally discovered n plus 1 query problem where I didn't expect that to happen. In my case, I had has many through relationship. So this is the screenshot from Laravel telescope from telescope queries. So I will show what is the issue and how I solved it. I've talked about n plus one query problem in my course, better eloquent performance. So first three lessons are free and I will link in the description below. So n plus one query is not just about typical example of add eager loading, but also you may find n plus one query accidentally where you didn't expect that, for example, in packages or when using count. So I will link those videos in the description below. Now back to my example. Not sure if you're aware, but you can use Laravel telescope when, for example, working with API, you load the API endpoint and it has the list of queries. So I saw that I have 10 nearly identical queries, which usually means n plus one query. So I'm loading 10 apartments and to query the beds, it loads one query for each of the apartment. Now the code, the structure of the eloquent relationship is apartment, then room, then bed. So apartment has many rooms and room has many beds, or there's also has many through relationship to have the beds immediately. The reason is I'm recreating the booking.com and this, have you seen that while searching booking.com? So it shows the amount of beds and the amount of types per bed for the apartment. So there's property like a hotel, then property has multiple apartments, then apartments have rooms and rooms have beds, right? So things like this one, things like two beds, one double, one sofa bed. So to populate that string, I used eloquent accessor in the apartment model like this. It doesn't really matter the logic of how I calculated the beds. This is irrelevant. What is relevant here is this first line. So the reason for that n plus one query is that I'm loading has many through relationship, but I'm not eager loading that. Or I thought I did. In the controller where the search actually happens, it looks like this. So I'm loading properties with apartments and a few more things around them. And I thought I was loading beds by doing apartments, rooms, then beds, and then bed type. But what I didn't realize, and it was news even for me, that if I eager load apartments, rooms, and beds, it's not the same as loading beds directly. I thought that if I use has many through relationship directly in the model and I eager load that with the intermediate table, it's the same. Apparently it isn't. So that's exactly the story in my lesson. So if we scroll down, we have that n plus one query. And the change that I had to make is change apartment rooms beds to just apartment beds like this directly. So when I removed that relationship, n plus one query was gone. And instead of that, it was doing one query for the beds for that has many through relationship. I'm pretty sure it's a rare scenario. That's why maybe I haven't encountered it myself in my own career previously, but I just wanted to show you this thing in a quick video. So maybe it would prevent you from doing similar mistake. So if you use has many through relationship, you have to eager load actually that has many through, not through intermediate tables. And if you want to read the full story of my optimization of that search request with a few more things, I will link that as well in the description below. It's one of the last latest lessons in my course about recreating booking.com API. So on the right hand side, as you can see, I've published a new chapter about performance optimizations. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.